Hi, I'm Mark Lovell. Welcome to the Photographer Academy. And I've been asked to kind of talk about me and my core. Um, believe it or not, I don't really talk a lot about me on the Academy as such, really, and the kind of the photography that I represent and so on. Um, since I kind of really got into photography as a young boy, as an amateur at the age of six, 16, um, I began to actually really immerse myself in the world of black and white photography. And uh, that kind of pretty much has followed through in my career. Now, there's two types of Mark Cleghorn. There's the Mark Cleghorn, the prostitute, and there's Mark Cleghorn, photographer. What does that mean? So in other words, Mark Cleghorn, the photographer, shoots what I want to shoot, when I want to shoot, shoot it, and I try and charge as much money as I can for it. Whereas Mark Cleghorn, the prostitute, pretty much if a client says, oh, we'd really like this, then I'm going, of course we do. And I just want to give them a really good service, a really kind of great experience, and some great photographs to kind of begin with. Um, as far as the end game is concerned, I must always add some of Mark Cleghorn into the other Mark Cleghorn. So when I represent myself in my photography, I need to be from the beginning making sure that people understand exactly who and what I shoot. Um, when I represent myself as a portrait photographer, and again, for many years, uh, we shot close to a thousand sessions in a year, which sounds like a bit of a sausage fac factory, I suppose, but it's not. I always encourage all of my photographers to put their creativity into the shoot, as well as obviously kind of make sure we get those best selling images. But I think today, as far as kind of the best images are concerned, your website, your Facebook, your Instagram are all the real first kind of experiences that people are going to get to know you. And it's essential that we represent ourselves in that way. Um, I'm not really a social kind of media guy. Uh, yes, we have to do social media. Uh, Jay, our video guy, and kind of Jay does now all the social media, media for the Academy, the Experience Group, and a little bit for Mark Cleghorn as well. Why? Because I basically don't enjoy it. Uh, and I love to share with you what I do, but it's quite boring. As far as my life outside of photography, I like to shoot. I like to take a camera out, whether it's my iPhone or my little Fuji, whatever it would be, but I like to actually show off my photography. But I'm really not taking photographs to show you. I'm taking photographs for me, for my pleasure. And I suppose this is where the juxtaposition, as far as Mark Cleghorn representing himself is concerned, I, I'm not a massive fan of doing that. But I understand and, and I truly appreciate photographers who, who do it and do it so, so well. What I am, though, as far as Mark Cleghorn in the core is concerned, is a black and white photographer. If you weren't really aware of it before, then basically black and white split me down the metal, uh, middle. Uh, year, years ago, they used to say that I ran yellow. In other words, I was a Kodak photographer. Um, whereas really, you split me down the middle, I'm, I'm grey, I'm black and white. Uh, and uh, whether it was a Kodak film, an Ilford film, or in today, digital kind of post, uh, post production, I still represent myself as a black and white photographer. Why black and white photography? Uh, for me, I suppose it's timeless. I love the tone. I love stripping away the moment, the time, in other words, the fashion of the time, and just getting straight to the expression. Um, I've always been a massive fan of fashion photography with the likes of Parkinson and so on. So being able to do similar kind of styling in photography every day with the type of clients or models that you would get coming through your door is a privilege. But I have to be true to my source. I, I mentioned I was a prostitute <laughs> and I hope that hasn't offended anybody. But I, I, I truly mean that even though I do what I do for money, there is still a part of Mark Cleghorn that is mine. And that mine has to come at the end of every single session that I still do, no matter what. So even if a client says, I really want some kind of photographs of my da daughter for the Holy Commun uh, Communion, great, that's okay, I'm all right with that. But at the end of the shoot, I'm gonna be shooting what I want. Where a client comes in and they want a great family photograph, we discussed beforehand exactly what they're gonna do. But yeah, but at the end of the shoot, it's mine still. And I'm not telling that to the client. But what I'm doing is I'm putting something together that will really represent me and my brand. And I like to be able to think that out of every single session that I do, there is a, a part of Mark Cleghorn that is visible no matter what. And if I strip one photograph out of each session, it still represents me. So when you look around a gallery wall, and we set these up today, but I've kind of just cherry-picked from some of the gallery downstairs, 
but you would find that most of my imagery in my galleries are all black and white photography. Doesn't mean, there's a perfect example, colour image, doesn't mean that all of my images on my website, on my window of the world, as it were, are going to be everything about my core, but they have to represent it. So in other words, I, I would expect something like uh, 10 images, I would probably have two of them would be colour and eight would be monochrome. Then as far as the kind of representing, uh, some of you visited my website, you might see that I represent them with kind of a Polaroid border around the edges. <laughs> don't shoot Polaroid anymore. I used to spend about 13 grand a year on Polaroid film in the, commer uh, the commercial world. That's the last thing I want to do. But I still like the texture, the effect, and the slight difference, the presentation of, of my work. When we start to talk about presentation of work, especially when we start to talk about presentation of my core, I like to keep it as simple as I physically can. In other words, this usually going to be a black frame. It's going to be a big white border on it of, of some kind. And then it's going to be the photograph. But I like it to sit. I'm quite kind of old school. But I think, you know, that kind of image can still today, if it had been shot, I think this is about 10 years old now, this image. But it doesn't look 10 years. That's the key thing. This is only a couple of years old. But that can represent Mark Leghorn for since 1988 really i mean you could go back to the late 80s and see almost identical images because in fact when we opened our studio up we we opened up as a black and white studio that was it and it was only kind of uh, began to shoot some color photography because we got asked for it even our wedding photography was all black and white at the time which absolutely horrified many brides mums and dads because their wedding photography was in black and white because there was no such thing as color then yes i'm that old um and because colour was really a part of the whole kind of wedding scene, I could understand why a bride and groom's mum and dad would say, but, you know, can we get some colour shots of the groups? And, and I get it, and that's the prostitute part for me. That's saying, I want to please you. That client has in, in invested into me to be their photographer for one of the most special days of their life, in the same way I see the portraiture, in exactly the same way I promise you that this is a moment that is not going to be captured again. The, chil uh, the children are going to change the day after, the week after, month after, and so on. And it's going to go by so fast. I want to make sure that we're creating some amazing images so that they will remember that and cherish them forever. But all also, as I said, they, they, they kind of uh, follow the Mark Hedden core brand and things, really. So colour is okay. I'm not against colour. But as far as uh, when I kind of wrap my images are concerned, I want to keep it as simple as we can to the black and white images. As far as the size in the photographs are concerned, I like to always kind of have a two-seater, a small two-seater so sofa, either in the reception area and in the viewing room or kind of all, all over the place. Why? I like to show how small an image can be in a room where they think it's going to be big uh, once we start about it. So when we talk about four, 40 inches here, this is just a little bit bigger, but when we talk about 40 inches here, I can honestly say that that image will fit above a small two-seater sofa and straight away the client can relate to it. As far as my core is concerned, I am Mark Cleghorn. I am a black and white photographer. It still means that I'm allowed to take some colour when it pleases me or pleases a client. You've got to find your core. You've got to represent yourself the best way that you can. So I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of an insight into Mark Cleghorn and his core. Uh, we'll see you on the next film, I'm sure. Take care. Bye-bye.